So I know if I look at a die, opposite sides add up to what? So there's a 1, flip it around, 6. So opposite sides add up to 7. So we're on side number 4. So I know that's going to be opposite my 3. So I know. I'm going to turn this around. So again, on my keyboard, hold down Shift. Hold down the middle scroll button to orbit it around. So I know this side's going to be my 4. Uh, let's do something a little bit different this way. So let's start our sketch. Where do we want to draw? Right here. Now I could do the same thing. Just, you know, one, two, three, four. Do it the same way as before. Let's undo that though. Uh, do, do, do. How should we do this one? Let's, let's try the mirror tool this time. So I'm going to draw my circle. I'm going to draw it up here. I'm going to draw just one circle. Click, three millimeters, and I'm going to put this same four from the edges. Use my dimension tool. And let's use our mirror tool. What mirror is going to do is it's going to make like a mirror copy. It's going to put up some symmetry to it. So I'm going to use my mirror tool. It's going to say two things. One is select and mirror line. So anytime it gives you this screen right here where you have two little arrows, that means, hey, you need to do this and then you need to do that. So a lot of tools have that. The move tool has that. The copy tool has that. So what that means is first I need to select what it is that I want to mirror. So what shape do I want? So I want this circle. And then my mirror line is going to be my line of symmetry. So right now, I don't have a line right here because I want to reflect that this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line right here. So I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw a line straight up and down right here. Now, you can see how the computer is trying to figure out what I want to do. You can see that little purple line where it comes up. If I move my mouse over here, you see it kind of has filled in that. What that is, is that's actually seeing that line right there. It's trying to import it over there. But I want to get right in the very middle, so I'm going to go right to that very middle where it turns blue, and I'm going to bring it just straight down. Cool. So there's a the line. Now, I don't want this line to be actually on my dice. This is just a line to help me and you. It's kind of like a guide. Um, so we call this a construction line. So what I need to do is I need to make this a construction line. So if I click on my line, over here i got some weird options. Uh, center line, it is a center line. I could click that because I know it's going to be a center, and I get that nice dashed long short long short center line or right here it says construction to just a regular dotted line so what that means is that this is kind of a guideline it's not a real thing it's just something to help me and you figure out what's going on I want to use that as my line of symmetry to reflect it over so I'm going to use my mirror tool I'm going to turn my light back on first and so I got my mirror tool so remember I've got these two things. First, select. What do I want to select? I want to select this circle. Where is my mirror line? Click that. Click my line and hit apply. And you can see it made a copy over there. Fantastic. Done. Well, let's do that again. So let's add another line. Let's add, let's make it a construction line. Let's put it in the center here. Drag it across. And either hit escape or that right click OK. So now I want to mirror this over the bottom. So mirror, select. What do I want? I want this one and this one. Where's my mirror line? Right here. Apply. Done. Look at that. We got a four. So it's just a way to copy and paste to make mirror images of each other. So a lot of things you'll make have a lot of symmetry to them. So that's a little shortcut using the mirror tool because we only dimensioned one of them, but because we made a cube, they're all going to sh uh, show up nicely. So we got our four there. Finish sketch. Boom. 
Now we want to extrude those, make them three dimensional. So extrude one, two, three, four. Go the other way, one millimeter. Cool, done. There's our four. Now let's do something different for our five. So coming to the other side, we know that it's going to be over here because 2 plus 5 is 7, opposite sides add up 7, so I want to draw right here. Start sketch. Right here. What else can we do? Let's add some text. Let's just put a 5 on there. So we've got a text tool right here. Let's click on that. Let's click over here. Let's just make a box. And this little screen is going to pop up. <clears throat> so, a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff going on. You can change the font right here. Let's just leave it at whatever it is. Let's make our text, I don't know, 8. 8 millimeters high. Come down here and let's just type 5. And let's hit OK. Look at that, I've got a 5 on there. Now if I wanted to move that to make it a little more centered, I'm going to use my move tool. And again, I've got those two options right here, those two arrows I need to click. So number one, step one, select. So what is it? I'm selecting my five right here. Number two is my base point. So that's kind of like if I was to grab it and move it, where do I want to grab it? So I'm going to grab just that corner. It doesn't really matter. And you should be able to, let's see here, I'm done. Let's try that again. Move. Why is it not selecting my five? There we go. Yeah, okay, so what I had to do is move. For the select, I just drew a box around it to select it. Now you see it selected. Base point, where do I want to grab? Click it. And I can just kind of eyeball it if I wanted to. Let's put it right there. Hit done. Hit finish sketch. So now I've got a five right there. Can I extrude the five just like the other one? Let's find out. Extrude. Click. And look at that. I can bring that five in and out just like all the other ones. So I'm going to go inward. I need to make sure I'm cutting to remove material, and I only want to go one. All right, so that's how to add some text right there. Cool, and then let's add our six. We know our six is going to be on the last side, so let's start a sketch right here. Let's put, let's use text again. Now, for most of these assignments, you can do kind of what, whatever you want there. Um, let's try Vladimir's script six. Okay, oh, beautiful. Um, so a lot of these assignments, you can kind of make however you want, um, as long as you have the basic idea down. Some assignments, I'll say like, hey, this is how you have to do it. Like, our cube has to be 16 by 16, but other than that, make the dice look however you want it. All right, let's finish that sketch. Let's extrude that. Let's click on that. Let's go in one millimeter and hit. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so what happened here? I got an error. Create extruded feature problem encountered while executing this command. So I tried doing something and it gave me an error. If I hit this little drop down button right here, it's saying uh, there's an error that occurred while doing this. Problem occurred while building this extension, uh, this extrusion. It edit. All right. What that means is it's just hey, something just physically doesn't make sense. So what I told it to do was take that six, go inward, but since it's already flat, you're going like inward and it's not doing anything. I did not tell it to cut, so I didn't tell it to remove that material. Now do it and it should remove that material. So if you ever get that error or an error like that, it means whatever you're trying to do is physically impossible. Let's fix it. All right, so look at that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's say I don't like the way that this looks. Uh, let's go back and let's make six for the, the dots. I don't like the way that looks. So I want to find where this is. If I want to edit something over on my bar over there, all of my sketches are still there. If I hit this little plus, I can see, hey, there's sketch one. 
there's sketch two, there's sketch three. Well, it's probably that last one. So if I want to edit this one right here, I can go over here, I can double click, and it's going to bring this screen back up. I don't want that. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to hit delete, and let's just put our circles back here. So I'm just going to do this quickly. Three. Let's, uh, do, do, do. Let's dimension from the center point to the side. It's going to be four. Let's see what some of these do. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's not. Let's just do it this way. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's use that mirror tool. Let's select those three. Let's use this line as my mirror. Now that is my axis. So what I should be able to do is just come over here and hit axis. Why is that not letting me do it? Yeah, let's just draw a line, construction line. mirror these three across this line. Now you'll see when I hit finish sketch it says hey there's an error because I had this original six right there that extrusion that I made before is going to give me an error because it's trying to extrude that six this cursive six right there but it's not there anymore so when I hit accept it's going to disappear and I'm going to get a little error right here it says, hey, I'm trying to find this thing, but it's not there anymore. So what we can do is we can double click on that. Now we'll bring up our extrusion screen. Extrusion screen. And I can click on all three of these. And all three of these. Yeah, okay. All right, so there's my six right there. Cool. So there's all sides of my dice. Now, that's good right there. It's excellent. Let's make it just a little bit prettier, though. 